Dion Howard, member of the South Carolina House of Representatives. Uh, certainly my intention today is not to be redundant. I certainly, and I'm also a member of the NAACP. I certainly agree with everything and concur with everything that's been said here today. But one of our biggest problems is economic and health disparities for decades that was ignored by this state and by the state of South Carolina to include the University of South Carolina. One of the biggest uh, organizations that contribute to disparities as it relates to African Americans who are not promoted at a fair level to uh, be compensated for their talents. And now, after decades of disparities, economic disparities, health disparities, the chickens has come home to roost. And now, our counterparts are acting like they are so surprised that African Americans are disproportionately impacted by this virus. It is because of health disparities. We've not had the opportunity to get the health care and economics to be able to uh, have our children purchase healthy foods. A lot of parents who just have get through the day food, but they just buy a happy meal at McDonald's. They can't afford to buy healthy, nutritious food for their children. So therefore, we are seeing young people, uh, uh, minorities uh, who are a juvenile uh, obesity, juvenile diabetes. And so we have a, a tremendous amount of decades of this type of despair. Uh, I cannot add in much more that I, I would call on the governor in the state of South Carolina to rush to, to address these disparities because we've not done so in the past. Uh, we're not a crisis and we should have some sense of urgency to these disparities as it relates to the minority community. Uh, 29203 in, er in areas in Richmond County, I think 29203 is one of the highest zip codes in the country as it relates to diabetes, amputation, heart attacks, and strokes. And this occurred long before we knew anything about COVID-19.